My name is Augustus Etienne from the Dominica Social Security. Your contributions to the Dominica Social Security is the best investment you could ever make because the quantum of benefits you receive from the system far exceeds the contributions you would have made. The regular and consistent payment of Social Security contributions could provide you with up to 60% of your pre-retirement income as your pension. Are you desirous of pursuing tertiary level education? Turn your educational dream into reality with a Social Security student loan which is available to you at very concessionary terms. This is Dr. Kimon Joseph at UWI Open Campus. Invest in your education. Participating in continuing and professional education courses helps to build your capacity and you learn new skills. Set realistic goals for yourself as far as your education is concerned. If you encounter a hiatus, do not let it keep you back. Keep moving and keep striving. Hi, my name is Jedi F. Austin. I am a student of the Guru Secondary School. Life insurance usually isn't on top of the mind of young people. However, buying a house, starting a family, or taking out a student loan are some of the reasons you take life insurance in your 20s or 30s. I am Lizra Fabian, and I am the Executive Director of the Dominica Association of Industrial and Commerce. Happy Financial Information Month to everyone. I encourage business owners to understand the importance of financial management. Financial management is key in making wise and sound business decisions and understanding the key importance and the keys of financial management will help with the success of your business. It is important to separate personal and business finances. If we commingle business and personal finances, we will always end up in a bind. So business owners making this important decision to separate personal and business finances will one, ensure that your business is more successful, but also ensure that persons have more faith and confidence in your management of your business. Keeping a good credit score is important for all businesses, and this will ensure that all businesses would be able to access financing, whether debt or equity. Hi, my name is Luana Laurent, founder and CEO of Finance Focus. Five tips for small business owners and entrepreneurs include understand the difference between revenue and profit, profit and cash. Ensure that you are pricing your products and services correctly by factoring all costs. Track and collect your receivables monthly. Grow your cash reserves for emergencies and call Finance Focus for professional help. Whenever I am moved to make a purchase, I ask myself these four questions. Do I need it or just want it? Can I afford it right now instead of taking debt? Did I plan for it? And what can I sacrifice right now to be able to afford this? Ask yourself these four questions before making an impulse purchase. Trust me, it helps. My name is Elvon John. I attend the St. Mary's Academy. And parents, it is never too early to teach us about money management. Hi, my name is Anna Kilia. I am from St. Martin Primary School. When your parents give you an allowance, you should put it in your payback. Hi, I'm Brenton Hillier, Agency Manager of Surgical Life in Dominica. When you promise your children that you will always protect them, life insurance is key. It's not about how much life insurance you need, it's about how much your family will need if you're no longer here. Life insurance can also benefit your family and you while you are alive through living benefits. Ask about cash value life insurance plans that can provide you with access to funds in the future and also around retirement. My name is Carlton Lando, pharmacist at Jolly's Pharmacy. It is often said that money is life and life is money. It means that without money, you practically cannot do anything. Oftentimes people do come to buy the medicines and have difficulties paying for their medicines. 
One, because they never invested in health insurance. Two, because they never recognized that they may have gotten ill or would have gotten ill later down in life. It is important to save now to enjoy tomorrow. It is also important that we don't waste money because money is something that can be easily evaporated. One illness can literally take your life saving. So save now for a better and brighter tomorrow. My name is Caleb Moses Paul, a student of the St. Mary's Academy. Tip number one, discuss one's versus needs. Tip number two, provide a saving place for money. Tip number three, let students earn their own money. Tip number four, offer saving incentives. My name is Lenny Dover, an advisor at Surgical Insurance Dominica. When thinking of insurance, there are three types of insurance that one must think of. One, retirement. How much do you need to retire? Two, what about health insurance? If you fall sick, who's going to be there to take care of you? Three, life insurance. In your absence, who is going to provide for that family or for that someone that you love so much? Without the combination of these three, you are indeed leaving your family at risk. Hi, my name is Mariana Lugay. I'm representing the National Bank of Dominica Limited. It's never too late to learn something new, especially when that something new can help build wealth or create new career opportunities. Invest in your education and apply for a loan at NBD. Getting exposure for your business, finding new contacts, or learning about new business opportunities can help you stay connected. Market yourself and let people know about your business. My name is Rena Leitang and I represent the Republic Bank. If you're fortunate enough to come into unexpected money, be it from a bonus at work, tax refund, or inheritance, it's crucial to consider putting it aside as savings. Putting extra cash into savings rather than a spending spree can help you save more money in the long run. The more you put it in, the more you'll benefit from compounding interest. Putting money you aren't expecting into savings can boost your overall savings efforts. Good day. My name is Mr. Emmanuel George from the National Development Foundation of Dominica. Market your business and promote your products. Simply register in your business is not enough to be known in the business world. You need to promote your business. Social media, radio play, and billboard ads are all prominent platforms you can use to help promote your business much further than word of mouth can do. Know your lane. Do not imitate your competition, but be aware of what's going on. Keep track of trends. Although you may sell similar products, similar services, remember, it is your reputation, your products, and your customer service is what ties to your brand. You may both sell the same coffee. Your coffee might even be the same price. But if I don't like the service over there, I'm going over here instead. That's how customers think. Customer service is everything. Enjoy what you do and do what you enjoy. This is something that will help ease and fortify your mind as you venture into being a business owner. And that will dictate the quality of service that you give your customers. Get connected and get involved. As an entrepreneur, your social network is a major contributory factor to the startup of your business and the development processes. My name is Rikisha Joseph, and I am representing the Republic Bank EC Limited, Dominica. Take advantage of technology. Republic Bank's online and mobile banking makes it easier to stay informed. It also allows you to stay up to date with your account status and saving progress. Biometric logins help keep your account secure. My name is Josephine Dichaussetit, and I'm the representative of the Dominica Agricultural and Development Bank. Visualize what you want for your business, and then you can make it happen. Live within your means. 
if you realize that you need credit to get to the next paycheck, then you're living beyond your means. Reevaluate your budget. Talk to your banker or speak with somebody who can help you organize your finances. Hi, I'm Rosma Burton and I represent Shopee. Here are some steps to help you organize your bills. Create a master list of bills with due dates. Organize your bills by keeping all of them in one place. Schedule a regular time to pay bills. If possible, pay your bills in one place using one app or one bank account. Use electronic payment methods when possible. Make sure you can see all your bills in one place. Use an app, spreadsheet, or even a notebook. This will help you keep track of your bills and can serve as a checklist each month to be sure you don't miss any payments. This list can even become the foundation of a budget if you don't already have one. It can be frustrating to have to pay a fee because you forgot to pay a bill or you were late making a bill payment. Paying all bills on one day allows you to stay on top of every bill and avoid those annoying late fees. For bills that are the exact same amount every month, consider setting up an automatic monthly payment. This is the ultimate convenience as you don't have to remember to send a payment. Just ensure that you have the right amount in your bank account on the day the payment is scheduled. Your bill should be arranged according to the due date. Create a habit of noting the due date for a bill as soon as you receive it to avoid late charges. Learn your billing cycle. All bills are not due at the same time. As soon as you receive your paycheck or salary, pay the bills that are due prior to your next paycheck. This will help you manage your finances. Use email to your advantage. Sign up to receive bills or bill reminders via email. When you receive the bill or reminder, Use it as a prompt to log into your bank account or to visit your bill payment office to pay your bill. This ensures that you don't miss the due dates. I am Javid Laurent and I represent Republic Bank. Consider taking a loan to purchase a piece of equipment, a vehicle or a computer system instead of buying it outright with cash. That way, you will free up some cash to tide the business over when cash is tight. My name is Kesia John, and I represent Republic Bank, EC Limited, Dominica. Remember that good things take time. Saving money and reaching your financial goals isn't a sprint. It's a marathon. It takes time to reach your goal. Keep the big picture in mind and work towards it. Define your short and long-term savings goals. Whether you're saving for a down payment, vacation, retirement, or all of the above. The first step to building a better financial future is getting clear on where your priorities lie. Hi, I'm Valda Victorine Faustin, advisor at Sagico Insurance. It's not everyone who applies for insurance gets it. Every application has one out of four outcomes. One, approval with ease, Two, approval with conditions. Three, postponement. Four, decline. To avoid the outcome of the last two, postponement and decline, apply early. Get insurance while you are healthy and strong. Get it today. Hi, my name is Nicole Karam and I represent the Republic Bank Easy Limited Dominica. Automate your savings. Once you've established your savings goals, use direct deposit to your advantage. Automating your savings is one of the biggest life hacks. If you can't see it, you can't spend it. Republic Bank's direct deposit services makes it super easy to direct your money into different accounts, even if the money is coming from different sources. I am Shema John, country manager for the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank and Coordinator Financial Information Month. Resist the urge to swipe or tap that credit card unless you are able to pay it off at the end of the month in full. 
it is very important to have an emergency fund. Your goal should be to try to save at least six months of your salary as your emergency fund in case you lose your job. Sometimes the unexpected occurs. It is very important that you have a relationship with your banker. Come in and speak to your banker if you are unable for whatever reason to meet your commitments. My name is Karaya Lawrence and I'm representing the Republic Bank EC Limited, Dominica. Analyze your cash flow. Many businesses go for cyclical highs and lows each year. Clothing retailers, for example, do their best in December, whilst school book and uniform suppliers normally do their best in the beginning of every school year. A cash flow analysis can highlight the cycles in your business. This information can be used in many ways, such as timing your borrowing, arranging the right amount of staffing, and boosting your market effort during lulls. Hi, I'm Shoma Vidal from the Dominica Cooperative Society's League Limited. Savings should not be ad hoc as something that you do when you have money left over. Rather, savings should be the first expense that you deduct after you receive your paycheck. You should be diligent about setting aside money towards your future. Practice depositing in a separate account at least 10% of your income and leave it alone. Hi, my name is Guy Jean Baptiste, marketing representative at the National Cooperative Credit Union. Here are some tips for saving. Review your insurance coverage to protect your investments. Too many people are caught by surprise after a disaster. Don't wait until you are close to retirement for you to begin saving for your retirement. You are the architect of your future. So just as you would save towards college, or buying a vehicle, or even owning a house, you should think about your retirement. Retirement should look how you feel. Open a member's retirement account today at the NCCU. Save regularly. Saving shouldn't be something that you do only when you have money left over. It's not a hobby. Rather, saving should be the first expense deducted from your paycheck. Practice depositing in an account that is not accessible through the ATM, such as a security savings.